Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is my November favorites, and I cannot wait to show you these products. So recently I did get a job at Lush, so also a side note, I do apologize for the poor lighting. I was the dumbass who decided to film at sunset. So yeah, moving on. So like I was saying, like I, um, I just got a I got off the job at Lush, and I've been trying out new products because I know all of their stuff is very organic, um, um, handmade, and ethically sourced. So. I definitely want to try some of the products and like try to find new things that are good for my skin and hair. So the first product that I am in love with that has been helping my entire body is Celebrate. It's a hand it's a hand and body lotion and I like to take hot ass showers. And I, then I come out of the shower like, oh why is my skin so dry and itchy? And I'm like, oh why is it so ashy? <laughs> why am I so ashy? And I just was just like, why is this happening? And I was just like, oh wait, obviously I need lotion. And I tried out Celebrate. And um, the thing I like about Celebrate is it has cognac in it. It's self-preserving. And it has, what else does it have in there? Uh, Brazilian orange oil, almond oil, uh, orange flower. Oh, yeah. I'm a horrible Lush employee. I'm so sorry. I should know all of this. This is so embarrassing. But yes, I do love Celebrate. It's very so it's very um, soothing to my skin. It's very awakening and like it ha it gives me like such an amazing smell. Like the smell actually lasted me to the next day when I woke up and it, it, it smelled like I was wearing like some like very um, citrusy like perfume. I love Celebrate. It's very um, yeah. Is Lime Crime Velveteen and Black Velvet. And the thing I like about this um, lipstick is it's so pigmented, and I don't know if it's just darker lipstick or just this one in general. It just did not fade throughout the entire day. It was there. Yeah, I got so many compliments on it, and I've just been looking for a nice black lipstick instead of any like lip liner or like eyeliner or just any of that in general. This really does do the job, and I get so many compliments. I really do love this. Um, it's just the perfect black lipstick, and all I need is one swatch, and bam, we're good. I love that. Um, I love that aspect about it because you know who wants to go through their tiny tube of liquid lipstick. Uh, you. Next product. As you all know, I really don't have like a set skin regimen. I mean, video and it, I do have it. Um, it explains like my skin regimen, but I really haven't updated it within from then to now. Um, but nowadays, I only wash my face like wash and moisturize my face like twice a week. And once in a while, I'll do a face mask. And my favorite face mask that I've been using is cup of coffee, cup, cup of coffee, cup of coffee from Lush. And it actually has ground coffee in it, and it looks like this. Oh, and it smells like coffee. Um, and, and it's very exfoliating and brightening to the skin. It really gets out all those toxins in your face, and it does wonders for me. Anytime I'm like, okay, I need to make sure my skin is lit for this weekend or like I'm going out somewhere and I need to make sure everything's good, I use like a cup of coffee. This is like honestly amazing. Um, and it's not too abrasive because yes, like I said, it is exfoliating and it's not too abrasive because for people who have sensitive skin. So yeah. Like, as you all know, I'm growing out this hot mess of a hair and I'm trying not to use as much heat. I'm not trying to overdo it by washing it too much and um, trying to keep it very lightweight when I use products. And one of them is Veganese. And I love this hair conditioner. I use it all over it. As you can see, look at that shine. Yes. It has lemon in it, which is going to give shine to my hair. It's going to be very cleansing. And it's also going to hydrate my hair without overdoing it. It's, very, it's a very lightweight conditioner. And it's not going to give me like that heavy, really gross feeling. Like I already live in South Florida. The humidity already makes up here feel like really gross and damp. And I don't need anything else to add to that. And Veganese really does help me like I said it hydrates my skin hydrates my skin hydrates my hair it gives it the shine it cleans it gives it that clean feeling so and it's very lightweight I really do love veganese and it um it's like a nice citrusy smell in it so yeah I fox with this um that is my absolute favorite is this lip liner and before I get into it and show it to you my problem with lip liners is they don't last or they don't last on me and they, I, since I have full lips, I use like half of the pencil just trying to fill it in. Or just like, just do the out, like the outskirts of my lip and it's so annoying, like I hate it so much. So I was like, hmm, maybe it's just a lip liner I'm using that's really crappy that I have to keep like doing all of this. But I was like, hmm, let me just try something else. So last month I picked up Max Soar lip liner. It looks like this. 
and it's so beautiful. It's really close to a Lolita for me, a little darker, so this is kind of like the um, color I've been looking for. It's very beautiful. It lasts all day. And I didn't have to like sharpen this to fill in my lips. Like I love this lip liner. I got so many compliments walking down the street with it. Like it was so beautiful. Like I seriously love this lip liner and, and it like it's almost like liquid to matte lipstick for me. Like I'm I'm a liquid to matte lipstick snob. Like I don't use any other lipsticks besides that. And this is my first lip liner uh, well not first, but another lip liner that I use that I just live for. Like this is the bomb. Yeah. Um, the last product I want to review is, please don't hate me, but the Lime Crime Venus Palette. Like, I know there's controversy, but it was on Urban Outfitters. I get a discount, so yeah. Um, so I really do love the Lime Crime Venus Palette. It's so beautiful. Look at this packaging. Oh, it's so pretty, and I love all the colors in it. Oops, sorry. I love all the colors in it. It's like a, all these pinks and reds, and it has a, it has like this dark, nice, beautiful chocolate brown color in there. I seriously use it like on the daily, like for the brown. So like like sometimes even if I like forget my contour, I use it for that or to like um, you know. It's just all the colors are so beautiful and useful. You don't also all, it's not always going to be too dramatic. You can like um, like make it a little subtle or and I even use it today for um, this look that today. And I'm also using Lime Crimes Pansy, and I use it as my eyeliner. I'm so proud of myself and how it came out. I might do a makeup tutorial on that. But yeah, this is it's such a good palette. All the colors are very pigmented. They really do last long. Um, I remember when I didn't, I forgot to use my primer potion for my eyes, and it lasted me throughout the entire day. Like, it did not, like, get muddy or, like, crease or anything. I love this. I hope you guys enjoy my November favorites. Like, I can't wait. I love making these for you guys. It's really fun to talk about these things and, like, give you these, um, my feedback on certain products. Um, I, if you make you like the video as well, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that, and share this video. Um, I can't wait to make more videos. And I, um, until next time, bye guys.